Fine, fine. You got let's just go get this over with. Oh, oh no. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. just hope the queen is already found out. Everyone else, all of the others should be gone. Oh no. You need to be careful. I might stand up to her this time. I don't want to. Don't do that. No. Fine. I look at myself. You hear Malik growling. You're fine. <laughs> You all take off kind of at a, at a brisk pace. You can see him out, out of the corner of your eye. You see him kind of like press the vegetation. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and there, there's a moment where he's like. He actually reaches over and touches the severed part of his wing. He's trying to like flatten it or, or do something with it, and just lays his wings against his back. And he's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then he he also sees the mark on his sleeve, and pulls it down a little bit further. And he's, he's definitely. If I had nervous. some concealer, I'd be able Some what? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> One of those new age terms. Probably. You'll make it into the main area, and you can see there are now no traces of the three sundered enemies from uh, two nights before. Um, the vast majority of what looked like the... Every, everything seems to be still as you walk into this clearing once again. And you can see that there are some sigils kind of on the inside of one of the trees as it's open you see someone pacing rapidly back and forth back and forth and you, you can't really hear anything at, at this particular distance but you kind of spot this and gather that's probably where a lot of the transportation circles are where where they the arcane gates are and kind of notices and shakes it is it too late to go back? No, yes. yes. No, yes? Definitely yes. That's the most indecisive answer I've ever heard. <laughs> you just charge you. forward. You go over and he's like, but but perhaps if... Like, just, just on the on the ground, um, shouldn't be on the tree or anything. It might be better if you take a few steps back. I put it down. I think two steps back. Farther than that, I'm afraid. <coughs> to go. But then one thing. Fine. I stomp away a little bit oh, and I sit seven. down. <laughs> yeah, you're about you know ten, about uh, yeah ten feet or so. I have like my arms kind of folded a little bit. I'm like. Oh, oh, oh. I wait too late. Yeah, yeah. All all of you are kind of there, and you all kind of sit okay. sit down. Because it's too far away to listen. Yeah. Okay. Zoom kind of looks and kind of gives him a little thumbs up, and he. He gives him a little bit of a smirk back and looks back up at the tree. And you see one of the guards uh, at the bottom of the tree kind of goes over and they talk for a second. Mm -hmm. The guard flies up and kind of oh, taps. Are going inside those? No, no, no they're going still outside. The, yeah, he's oh, still okay. outside. He didn't, he didn't grab him or anything. He, he brought him. I'm going to uh, nudge Talvin and like kind of signal for her to link with me. Okay, link! TV minds like <laughs> Zoom is just <laughs> looks a little bit left out. <laughs> it's for like I'm gonna break my link with her and then I'm gonna go with her and I'm gonna be like I'll tell you all the details when it's over. It's a secret. How are, we, how are we going to figure those details out? Or I'm gonna be like she might she might invite powers. us over. I'm like she can read lips. And at that moment, you hear what? Door flies open. Yes, yes, yes. And you see, kind of, um, just bursting forth, uh, this um, pixie. She ha instead of having the the dragon sprite. Wing, uh, the sprite. Yeah, sorry. Uh, instead of seeing the sprite with these kind of dragonfly like wings, they are slightly more elegant. They curve up and around. They have this translucent hue about them. This kind of iridescent 
kind of purple mixed with opal Aww. over on the sides, and she. What? What? <laughs> Please don't say that too loud. I didn't say it out uh, loud. That was so Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Be careful what you say. Uh, they they're still more more narrow, as you know. There, there's a difference between sprites and pixies, as I keep in my head mixing them up, which I think is a DM slip. Apologies. Uh, you see her kind of burst forward. She has this fiery red hair, which is just tied up in this kind of long ponytail. Even from where it is, it just cascades down her back, um, wearing what looks like it. You, it was probably meant to be armor but has been slightly stylized. <laughs> it's, it's more like a ceremonial piece of armor, less of a um, functional piece. And she kind of bursts out, looks around, looks down, and just free falls to him. Oh. And, he, and as she free falls, at the last moment she catches herself, and the impact itself, you can actually hear oh. Oh my god! Me and Orba on the other side. She hits him with such force that it actually knocks him three foot closer to you guys. Yes. Yes. She just tumbles. And all of a sudden, she is on top. And just looking down at him. I was so worried about you! Immediately just leans over and crushes him in a hug. And he's like, I'm a lady. Put on such a scene. He sits up, and she, her legs are kind of like off to the side, and he's just sitting there for a moment. And he, at first, he doesn't know what to do with his hands, and eventually, his arms just kind of close around her and he presses his face kind of in the small part of her neck. And you can see from where no, you are that, he, that he, he's kind of shaking a little bit as he hugs her, and then he, there's there's a moment where he breaks. Kind of pulls away, and her hand is just kind of resting you know, on his chest as she's just gazing into. You can see these brilliant blue eyes, just these sapphires, just lit and glow. Her wings themselves are shimmering with this very fine dust. She's she loves him so much. I'm gonna be so happy. She, <laughs> she cups both of she cups his face. In both of her hands, she just presses her forehead to his. <laughs> you can say, like, I was so worried. I, they, they got the news back. We, we've been, I've been waiting for days to hear something. And then you're all right. <laughs> you can see. I'm hyperventilating in the background. I'm like. <laughs> At that moment, she actually does notice and she, she kind of startles. And kind of stands at that moment. And I saw her and I'm like, <laughs> and she she lights up all out. There, there. Are. I didn't realize we had a company. And she it reaches over for what looks like you know kind of a sword. And he's like, no, no, he's still on the ground. <laughs> kind of he was because it just got dropped. <laughs> he was yeah, he was sitting up at that point. And he was and looks to you guys, looks back to her. No, no, no. They're they're the ones who have been helping me. And kind of stands. And she. And looks like she, she does, like she, a small wave. She looks at that and kind of yeah, uh, lo looks wave. back to him. I'm just like, what? What? You, you don't need the help. You grabs both of his hands. Like you're, you're so strong on your own. You don't need any of that. I'm so glad you're alright. And he just kind of pulls him in again and just rests his hands. And like, I'm so glad you're okay. And for a time, they, they don't say anything. You can just see his hand kind of reaches up and kind of pulls one of the strands of hair kind of over one of her ears. And at that point, she actually notices some of the kind of burn marks on his arms, and she is you know, but she was kind of seeing him through this kind of lens in her mind. As all of a sudden, she kind of looks, like, what happened? What? And she notices when her face just falls. She <laughs> pulls him around and looks, and she, you can see she's probably she's a little bit shorter than he is. 
very right. strong, but she she's v fiercely oh, determined. She she can be very forceful, oh. and she pulls him over and she looks and like what on earth happened? I'm like you're waiting. And she's always like well, clasping the edges and kind of stro stroking it. He's like it's a very long story and one I dare not tell you. So it's give you nightmares. And it's like it doesn't matter. And he kind of he turns around. And kind of, it's all right now, and I'm glad you're all. He's so manly and like a little person. <laughs> it's so cute! She, she immediately kind of gets this stern look and looks kind of over at them and is like, they didn't do this right. They, they I didn't. give her a stern and they kind of look. And she's like, hey, you, they haven't been putting you in danger, have they? And, she, and before he can even answer, she kind of flies up and kind of gives you all a quick inspection to <laughs> flying really close. I'm just gonna of like sit thing over there like mm. it was really cute, but I'm gonna try not to be all flies, flies back to his side and she's like oh, look, I, I I heard I heard that you, you were gonna be leaving. Like where are you going to? And he's like Um that's an, another matter. Um a lot has happened in a very short amount of time and I'm still adjusting and we're all still adjusting and and she, at that point, kind of looks kind of confused. And you can see he kind of reaches over and kind of pulls at her left hand, and you can see that there is a ring that kind of goes into this like lace-like bracelet. Aww. Kind of holds it, and he's like, yeah, I did hear about that. And, and I know it, I'm happy for you. It's like, well, I'm not. She rips her hand away from him. And I kind of smile. I'm like, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about any of this. I had to pull. You know how many favors I had to pull? Every single one of them in order for the guards and the, the, the sigil people. I wish I understand how to do all of the sigils on my own, but I'm still learning. And you know what? This is fun. And she kind of looks as like they don't understand anything about arcane sigils, do they? I hope they do. Maybe they can teach me. And he's like, you're not coming. And she immediately... And I kind of like, I'm in the background like, yes, queen, yes! <laughs> Tell him! She's I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Get that and tea! He, not knowing what else to do with his hands. He probably also. hears me in the background kind of like chuckle a little bit. It's just... You see him deflate. <laughs> where he's just like, oh, I'm really putting on a show for these people. Mm -hmm. Folds his arms in. And he's like, you, you have responsibilities, and I, I have debts to pay. I, I can't, I can't leave. I made a promise. I owe debts, and he kind of looks over it in his wings. Like, and honestly, I, I can't do the things that. You do anymore? I'd, I'd be a hindrance. She. I'm kind of scowling at his really? back right now. I'm like, she works. So <laughs> You're lucky if I don't leave with you right now. It's cold, you. <laughs> she kind of looks like. You never really flew anywhere anyway. You always down in your lab. And he's like, Ooh, roll, savage. rolls his eyes and he's like, that's not. That's not the point I'm trying to make. What I'm. Like, I'm trying to say that it, what all of this is, it's, it's better. It's better if you you, ha you maintain your title, my lady. It's, it's better if you maintain all of these things that... I can't have you be an outcast, too. And you and kind of... She, her face softens, and you can see like there's a few tears kind of gathering the sides of her eyes. And he takes a second and he actually pulls off the ring and he fishes it off from his neck and he fishes it over hers. And he's like, I found this when we found the devastation and if nothing else I wanted a piece of you to remember that hopefully you'll remember me by this. I'm gonna, he put, he's putting on a brave face, you can see. My entire being is cracking from the inside. She, she watches and you see a couple of tears kind of spill down her cheeks. What do we do? We got to do something! I say to Nora through our league. <laughs> we shouldn't do anything. What do you mean? We can't Am just I? Take them is they're far away enough 
I, am I lip reading this or since she knocked them closer? Since she knocks them closer, you all are, are picking up on, okay. on this conversation. I was just you all are I'm still leading to her because I'm quiet. like, yeah. we have to do we're something. Very, very she won't interfere. What do you he, mean? The, this whenever he, he takes out, he shows her the, the kind of mark and he's like, it was a formality. And it was decreed by the queen. No less, and he puts his sleeve back down after showing her the mark. And he's like, I owe all of them my life multiple times over, and I, it's a debt that I have to pay. It's, it's the honorable thing to do, and I, I promise them at least I get to walk away from my life, even if it's not my own. And she kind of looks, and she's kind of playing with the ring a little bit. Her wings have just kind of sagged against her back. He kind of he glances back up, and you can see that like some of the you can see some of them have hoods on, and it looks like they're they're checking to back. Make an inside check, both of you. Eighteen. 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 Okay, both of you eighteen. It seems like the the ones that are hooded. Who's hooded? The, there are several sprites who are kind of hooded, who are in uh, in where the sigils were, where she burst out of. And it looks like they, they keep looking back, they keep looking forward. And it, it's like it's like they're making sure they're covering for her, essentially, is, is the vibe that you're getting. Is that they, whatever it is that sh she's doing, it's probably breaking a lot of rules, and whoever's hiding does not want to be associated with this meeting. It's so sad. And she keeps playing with the necklace. And I have this view. I'm glad you're okay. He kind of looks at her and nods. He goes forward and kind of wipes one of the tears from her cheek. He actually um, kind of reaches into one of the back pouches and pulls out a handkerchief and kind of, kind of wipes wipes her face. And it's going to be all right. I've gotten myself into worse. And <laughs> kind of laughs. And she takes the handkerchief and kind of presses it against her nose. At this point, kind of like reaches over and kind of hooks her hand kind of in her belt, and she kind of pulls him closer and kind of re, re embrace. Belta, go! So cute! And he's like, How much time do you have? And she says, My, my people will be coming any moment to, to tell me that my father's figured out what I've done, and then he'll come and try and save the day. <laughs> I'm kind of in the background like, he sounds like a dick. <laughs> he kind of laughs. He was like, I'll be lucky if I walk away with my head if something like that happens. And she's like, <laughs> and he kind of smiles and she looks up at him and she tiptoes and she kisses him. <gasps> no. And as she lowers from her tiptoe, his face just kind of follows her as they kiss. Together. I run for it, got to run for it! No! You will be together forever! I <laughs> will <laughs> not let anyone separate you! <sighs> he kind of pulls, eventually he kind of pulls away. His hand is kind of resting behind her head. I have to go, and you do too, I understand. And she nods, I understand. And then she just kind of gets this look, she's like, I understand you're a complete idiot. She flies over to you guys in an instant, he goes, WAIT! <laughs> he 
<laughs> I kind of perk up a little bit. Flies over and she's like, so obviously he owes a couple of things. Is there any way that um, you'd be all right with uh, being charged with uh, kidnapping and abduction? Absolutely. <laughs> it's like uh, that, that could possibly have very negative implications. And he's like, what are you doing? He's actually running over at this point. It's like, what are you doing? Don't. Don't no no whatever she's suggesting no. <laughs> he just sees me like grinning I'm like yes yes yes. And uh, she take takes the ring, and rips it off of her finger, and she's like, uh, this right here uh, is um, probably very valuable even though it is small. But you know, uh, I hear that people like shiny things, and she kind of holds it out. And she's like, I don't have any use for it. And drops it and. Ah! Prize, begins trying to pry off the brace that actually takes a dagger that she has, which is not ornamental, and kind of breaks it. And kind of nicking herself in the process, but she's like, there we go. She's like, I, I don't know if this bracelet has any particular value, but kind of tosses it over her shoulder, and he's like, he's just like in a heap yes! of it, he's just collapsing, he's like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm trying to convince them to take me away. I'm convinced. <laughs> she's like, no, uh, my father does have a certain amount of influence and uh, has some powerful allies. Uh, this don't need to be a problem, is it? Probably. But they do what they do. And kind of looks over and kind of looks over at Zoom. I'm like, you're curious. Well? Nora! <laughs> Go! You, you hear, you hear it and tell El, it's like, yeah, what are you doing? I'm like, if you want to come, Jen. I'm not going to stop you. Okay! She's like, good, it's settled. I have a quick thing I have to go grab, and then I'll be right back. Okay! And she, <laughs> he's like... And I've reached by the same hand I have holding, like, the ring in. And then I, like, reach down, and I'm like, come on, let's go! We should go pack up now. We have to leave. How are we going to get back? Back where? They were going to open up an arcane gate for us. We have to make these things through. We can't just take her. Well, then we better start running now. It's a five-day run. <laughs> Pixies can only fly for eight hours with get out getting too tired. <laughs> we're we're going to have to walk for nine hours It was every actually day. an experiment. <laughs> ah! All right, so... um. The audience doesn't necessarily know, but these are called the Balls of Death. Certain events require rolls from the Balls of Death. And, <laughs> Taliban, I need you to roll the Balls of Death. Because she before, was the most eager. Before it begins, I need you to say even or odd, and then I need you to roll. I can't, I can't reach that far. I don't even like punching me. We're all the balls in the <laughs> Even or odd, say first. Even. Oh, did I have to re-roll that one? Which one? The red one. No. Is it... You know, what is it? What are the numbers? They're odd. That one's even. 10, 5, and 37. I mean, technically it's supposed to be in the tray. It's cocky. 58. Oh wait. It's, no, it's, it's tilted. Fine. Is it tilted? Nope, it's not. I think okay. it was tilted. Oh, now. <laughs> I mean, it's tilted now. It wasn't. It wasn't tilted. Okay. Get this away from not touching it again. Okay. Thank you for participating with the Balls of Death. I've missed this. As you all watch this entire scene come forward and Jen essentially comes to you pleading with a bit of a bright attitude. You all just see Intella, he's just trying to process everything. He's like, J She's still in training. You really, these are powerful enemies. If you, if you can't just abduct her. I mean, 
they're going to see it as abducting, but I just see it as another traveling companion. This is no, no. She, she can't. She has a whole life. She has a, a legacy. What does she, that she, she, she study she, abroad for a semester? That's not how it works. Would you really rather her live an entire lifetime of misery? I want her to be safe, and right now I'm not necessarily the safest individual to be around. That doesn't mean she wouldn't find herself in more trouble without you. Especially with all these villages getting attacked. You never know which one they might go after next. Don't say that. I'm just stating the facts. Don't say that. I... Mm. At which point you all hear, Let me go! Oh dear. And from behind that same door, you can see kind of stepping out a much larger sprite. Uh, he stands probably about seven inches tall. <laughs> He kind of like, leans out, and he actually has her kind of by the hand, and she's like thrashing. Um, he kind of has this like kind of dark. Oh, black this is probably hair. The, the stupid. King. It's the king. No, it's either gonna be her betrothed or her dad. Let me just see Tala. Oh, no. It's her dad. Drinks. Damn. And the same real you know, dragonfly-like wings I'm gonna fly out and land in front of Talel and he just kind of looks panicked as he kind of you know, he, he does take a, a single step back and as he's kind of looking at him, he kind of glances back um, he takes notice of all of you kind of standing at his back he lands, like, what is the meaning of this? And Talal's like, I just wanted to let her know that she was, that, that I was alright, that, I mean, we have communication. He comes over and he kind of grabs him by the I kind of start to like, no, he needs to do this. Fine. Kind of, As you make in the mind. I can like lean forward a little bit, but then I'm just gonna wait He's for a second. Late, Dusty, no. She stops me. He's a man. Grabs him and kind of is like, You know what I said before. And Tala's like, I remember quite clearly the thing that you've said before, but I also know that she does not want to be in a situation and you, that you've put her in. He kind of tosses him and lands, but he quickly kind of gets back up on his feet hands instinctually, kind of one going to his pouch, one kind of race resting by his dagger. He hasn't drawn, but he's kind of prepped himself. And he looks to all of you and says, like, You are these companions that were mentioned in this letter. He kind of waves it. I assume. just kind of nod and like... And, like, and you should take your quarry and be gone. Leave my daughter out of this. As he turns. And still kind of stands. This is Tam. I'm kind of holding her. Nora's kind of holding me back a little. I'm just kidding. As, as he begins kind of pulling her away, and she's just thrashing against his dress, and she's like, "Tello, father, you can't. Like I've already told you." And he kind of pulls her in, kind of gives her this very stern look, and she. She still has that loathing look. She still has that look in her eye. But she kind of bites her tongue. And Tal El kind of looks at all of you. He kind of... I look disgusted. Not at him. He, at this he, scene that I'm seeing. He looks for a moment and kind of... And I link with him. And he's like, I... I know there's a, there could possibly be a way for me to do something, but I don't. Should I? You should go after whatever your heart wants. I want her to be safe, which is in direct conflict with what I want. Safety in numbers. It means like you would be taking on someone else. I know.
We have your back. He's, he takes that moment and he... He goes, Dune! His name is Dune! No! I hate that name! I hate him even more! I hate him completely! He calls him by his first name! And he... As he's looking at his daughter, there's just this tenseness as he looks over at him. And he's like, I know she's in promise to someone else. And he's like, saw the ring, saw the bracelet, I know who he is. And he's like, and you know the traditional rites. The father's eyes widen, and he looks at his daughter, and she just kind of gives him this, yeah, this look on his face. As he, he kind of lets her go. Uh, looks, looks back. He's like, battles for her hand. So you wish to challenge him then? Oh, you challenge him! And yeet! Hello. Kind of takes a second. He nods and he's like, I've laid claim. <gasps> Damn! My as woman! He, as he embraces. He embraces. He looks. Well, that's a bit fortunate that he came as well. No, no! That's good. That's good. As he steps back and he's like, "You know the traditional rites." Until he nods. He's like, "Then you know you could die." He nods. And she rushes over to him and she just throws her arms around him, just burying her face in his neck. Like, I know you can do it. She just kind of gives him this look and he's like, I'm going to die. No, you're not! I'm still he, technically he, in his he, head he, and I'm like, you're not going to die. He, he links back to you and he's like, the same promise you made me before. Something happens to my body, you, you take me away from this place. I, they don't need my remains. I promise. And he kind of looks and he's like, and she will never go back. So you have to take care of her. I know. I will. He kind of looks and he's like, you need to look into her. Like, and Jen, you need to go stand by them. I don't know what's going to happen. <gasps> and she kind of nods, kind of squeezes his hand. And as you all see the, the door kind of open again, she leans forward and gives him another kiss on the lips. <gasps> and pulls away. Right as the other dude comes in. Right as the right as you see oh. the other. How tall is Tarell? I forget. He's like five and a half inches. Oh no! <laughs> if if that, he's pro he's probably closer. So he's kind of slight. He's slight. Most of them are slight. Dune is the tallest you've seen of the sprites. He's kind of big. big. How big is this one? He is about six and a half inches tall. <laughs> As Is he you kind see, of thick? He's thick. <laughs> he comes out oh, no. and just looks down and just glares <gasps> at Tala with his fury. You can see now, for, for a sprite, he is very well muscled. Bracers on his forearms, chest plate, bearing. So, Tala doesn't have any armor! <laughs> no! We should have made him some armor! He has attached to his back a great sword. What's a great sword for a sprite after all? Oh god. As he leaps down, you can see he actually has these black wings that just. You can hear almost like a hornet, just this thick hum from his wings as he lands in front of Dalel. And instantly you see uh, that they both kind of begin like drawing marks on the ground. And instantly there's just kind of this circle that is a light before you. As he looks. Don't have rope. Technically he has a little bit of rope with him. Okay. He hit, but he I have some. some. He has some of the rope. He kind of looks. You see him say something in Sylvan. And he, you guys actually don't know um, his name, um, but he looks at Talal and he's like, "I hear you've laid claim 
I'm gonna Let's break see. contact because I don't want to distract him. As he walks through the center of the ring, Tullo takes a shaky breath and also kind of walks forward to the center of the ring. Come on, man, you can do it! It's time! I believe in you! And then walks up and he just kind of looks and he's like, Who's to say that I don't? Like, who's to say I would want her after knowing that you lay claim? A spit in his face. Mm-hmm. From where you are. <laughs> uh, get in my head, I do. <laughs> he kind of looks and he's like, Should I send the intellectuals? <gasps> to which point they. <laughs> and they both, in that moment, kind of step one foot back and he's like, How are we going to hit me if you can't fly? And as the circle lights, he immediately leaps up in the air and combat begins. <laughs> he gets the first initiative as he like lifts off of the ground. Tell immediately kind of goes into this defensive standing position. His hand he has his long sword, he has his short bow, and he has his dagger, as well as a small gathering of potions. And as he's looking around watching he might he's be like flesh. Yeah, he's smart. He's smart. What spell can I cast out? <laughs> um, um, um. As he's flying around, you see the one. Eldritch blast. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks an arrow, and and this thing is about the size of your index finger, and you see, and you can hear <laughs> as he leans back to. Oh, the, the, the big dude. The big dude. Oh leans God. Back he's got. He's, the, the big dude has what kind of weapons? A long bow and a great sword. But Talel has what? He has a long sword, a dagger, some rope, and some potion. Hey, look, we got that black potion. I just say hit that shit with him. Do you have to say suggestion out loud? It's verbal. Yes. He goes to hit him. <laughs> oh my god! As he aims and. Tell us steps out of the way and the arrow, which is about the size of his arm, lands in the ground. He goes, I'm going to die. You can use the arrow! And take, takes his own arrow, and you can see he kind of jabs, jabs it into one of his side pouches and goes to hit. Oh god! Misses as he no! No! dodges out of the way. No, no. Takes another arrow. Oh my god! Another miss. Yes. He's kind of running and he tumbles and jumps out of the way as another was there where he was there moments before. Oh my god. He takes another arrow, dips it, it's all he can do at this range, and he aims again. Come on! It's cocked. Natural 19. He takes a moment and then seeing how his attack pattern goes, aims to the side and it goes off to the side as he goes and lands in his shoulder. Yeah! He looks at it. Make, um, both of you make a perception check at disadvantage. Oh. No! Oh, I got a two and a one. I don't see anything. I got a, s- a ten. A ten? No, you don't, you don't see what it was that he no. jabbed onto there as no. he takes. Okay, okay. But there was a one. No, he wouldn't do that. Yes, he would. If he was fucking smart, he would. No, he wouldn't do that. Yes. Just kill a fairy in cold blood. Or it's not in cold blood's combat. That dude's trying to kill him. And then he's gonna leave his it girl. It would just be like a little bit of pain. Kill him. Lots of pain. Do you watch? Oh, oh wait, he has to also make a... Uh, Wait, that means he can't use his. Well, he'd have trouble using his bow because he have to pull. I mean, he might. Although he has a lot of muscles. As you watch as Talel aims and it (sighs) hits him in the shoulder, and he he hisses as you hear a familiar. (laughs) And you watch as electricity kind of seizes in part of his body. He takes his bracer on his forearm and breaks the shaft of the arrow in his arm as he 
aimed once again for Tala. No, 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 don't hit him, don't do it. Missing. Yes! yes! <laughs> oh, this fool's terrible. May Thank goes God. down again, this time Tala leaps back. Yes! There's another arrow, dips it in. Aims to Tala. Come on, Tala. Come on, come on, come on. That hits. Yes! yes! He's actually doing okay. Yes! He's doing so great! He's doing great! I mean, how many hit points can they possibly get? I don't know, I've never looked. It depends if you're going with the standard or if you're going with the player character. He takes another and kind of dips it in and, and it kind of hits in the exact same spot. And you can oh, see from the back side, part of it pokes out. And you can guess this is actually the end of the other one that he managed to hit. He's got grenades! He and he breaks this one off again, but as he does, there's this burst of flame which immediately cauterizes the wound. He begins to kind of try to pat it out. Fire damage! glares at him. Oh my he god! He takes one last arrow, and he's getting ready to go down there. Aims. No, 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 Oh, he's a terrible archer! Oh, thank God! He takes it, and as as Talal is kind of, he's very light, he's very flexible whenever he's moving and darting around. And you can see now, Jin is just like on her knees, she's like, you can do it, I'm Like, Talal, Talal, no, you're holding me She's like just freaking. I can't. She actually like flies behind your shoulder, and you can see her like peeking out. She are behind your shoulder, and she's like peeking out, and she's like he's looking. I can't. Oh no. Oh, you can. Oh. Um. Talel. Uh, he he kind of he hearing this. He's like I can't just focus. And you can see him now, kind of dip dip into another one, and he watches and. So he has no more arrows. That's what she said. I cannot believe Tala has been doing so well. I cannot. I can't believe it. And he dips his next arrow, and as he aims, you you can see him. He's and on it lodges in his side, and he. He's starting to get really angry. You can almost see the black darken, and it looks like black dust is just pouring off of him, almost like he's casting him in shadow. He Ooh, takes it and he scary. rips it out of his side and tosses it to the ground. As you watch, <laughs> more electricity just surges. Yes. Uh, he does. Oh no, it's not. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't manage the saving throw. Yes, uh, full damage. Yes. He's, taking, he's taking a lot of damage. He, in frustration, throws his bow, grabs his great sword, and pulls it off of his back, and just goes into a straight dive to attack. The strength is better. That actually does hit. As he, as he tries to dodge out of the way, he goes in for one lunge and uses his momentum and swings up and. It Catches Talal in the back, and you can see this slight spray of blood course oh. up from his body. That's nine. <gasps> nine. There's no way he wasn't making some serious damage on that fool. Yeah, but she never She never Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talal, in that moment, he his back kind of seizes as he rolls. And he knows now he's in melee with this guy. So he takes takes his long sword and kind of smacks it against something and you hear the, kind of the breaking of glass as he kind of presses whatever it is against his blade. He's and you hear clever. As he rushes him, Tala rushes back. I say under my breath, ignorant. 
Nope, that misses. As Talal goes to make a swing, it just glances off his armor. He manages to make the hit, but you watch as these little sparks of electricity glance off of his armor, and he just kind of gets this grin. Talal looks a little bit worried as he takes his great sword and goes goes to swing down on him. Uh, that is another hit. Oh no, 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 no. We have to do something, we have to do something! I only have a giant crossbow! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Random with that, it's gonna fucking kill him. <clears throat> Talal, in this moment, takes his sword and once again tries to go in for a plunge into the open part as the giant blade just, just creams down his body. You can't. No. He, he looks. He he knows. He knows what's coming for him. Natural twenty. Oh my god! Oh no. Can I cast guidance on Talel? Just from a distance. Uh, Guys, it's a one d four for any roll. It's a cantrip, so it's endless. Uh, it might also be verbal. Oh, wait, you go to cast it, and you see the arcane dome shimmer. Oh. One v one combat. It's one v one combat. Oh, no. Is he looking rough? He, he's looking rough. Oh. Is the other guy looking rough? He looks a little worse for wear. You can see where. Who looks worse? They both look pretty rough. The just As needs he one hit brings it down and. <laughs> and he actually so gets knocked to his knees as he. <laughs> and you hear Jen shriek in that moment. She I flinch. Like she I'm kind of like. Oh god, but they keep watching again. And hello. At that moment, tries to actually dodge out of the way so that he can get another arrow. Um, he takes the uh, attack of opportunity potentially. No. Misses. Okay. As he darts back, trying to tumble out of the way. Takes another swing. Misses. And now he's a decent distance away. He kind of takes his long sword, kind of places it in the ground. Takes his bow and goes to hit again. Look at poison. That's a natural 18. Yes! Okay, he's yeah. the he dips it back, and you can see his, his knees are sh shaking. He's on. He's, hurt. he's very hurt. hurt. He takes it and he. Aim for his throat! Come on, you're so close! He should have stayed with the bow! <laughs> Part of this he's he's so, oh my god! He's looking so he's looking rough as you watch he releases another arrow and it <laughs> seizes throughout his come entire on, body. Come on, come on, come on. Does it make the save? He gets all the damage! He has, he has all of the damage. Okay. And now it's his like turn as he No 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 He takes no, his sword and goes no, down for an, no, another cut. No, 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 no. Does he miss? Talel switches out of the side right in time, and he's now staring directly at the blade, mere hairs from his nose. At that moment, he takes his longsword once again and dips it into into some kind of liquid. He has to keep he has to keep re dipping every single time. Whatever this is, he has is a continuous. He has a short lifespan. He takes it, drags it across, and goes in as he's looking up. Right there. Oh, come on. Does he get it? No. Does he get I it? I can't tell. Come on. Does he get it? Please. It's a natural 19. <laughs> yes! Oh, it did it! This is the best battle ever! <gasps> oh my god. Kill him. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to I don't care. It's for love. For love. <gasps> come on. This should be the last one. I hope it's the last one. I hope he's the last one. <laughs> You're <all> adorable. <laughs> you watch as he looks, and you can just see he's blood is just kind of gushing out of his back. 
and he looks like he has been hammered hard. You can see there are deep bruises on his neck, across his torso, and in that moment, he takes the blade, takes it, and jabs, and it goes into his side. Yes! And he presses into it, and as he twists, there's another yes. bit of arcane energy. Yes! Or, um, sorry, um, the, uh, light, lightning, oh lightning yes. energy. Yes! <laughs> but he did make the save. So that's how. Looking How so is rough. this guy still walking? He's looking so rough right now, and as Talal's kind of looking up at him, he takes his sword and he comes down, tries to knock him in the head, but instead he just catches his shoulder. <clears throat> he goes to shove. His- he goes to shove the blade again. Oh, we can still hit him twice. Natural eighteen. No. No, Talal. Oh Tal-El yes. Gets to. Oh my the, bad. The guy. The the other guy goes to smack him, and he smacks him in the shoulder, and in that moment, Tal takes out his dagger yes! and jabs him in the oh, side. Yes! I got an 18! And he watches the guy <laughs> as he <laughs> and collapses on the ground. Immediately, Tal reaches back into his pouch, and he steps over him, and he pours something into his mouth. Oh, he's nice. Oh, he throw, him throws it off to the side and kind of gives him a smack on the face. He did it! He did it! He kind of Is the circle gone yet? You watch as the energy. I immediately got reached for in healing hands. Yeah, he's he's a little no. bit he's, too, he's a little bit too no, far he away. At this point. Okay, fine. I'll wait. The bra moment. Bra. He just kind of steps over the body and just starts walking back to you guys. You can see the entire his entire front just coated in blood, bruises. He's got some kind of coming out of his mouth. His shoulder looks pro- possibly de- dislocated from the force of being pounded on. Can I we kind of reach my hand over. out? Healing hands, my fingers start to glow. Like, please, just someone to help you. It kind of takes a second. There's a moment where you see a flicker of motion. Oh, she runs to him. And it looks like someone was aiming an arrow at Talal's back. But a hand is raised and, <gasps> and pulls it down. They were gonna. And Mitch Motherfucker, who was it? It was, it was. It was. It was just. It was one of the guards. And Dune is the one who actually takes the tip of the arrow. Do I see this? Yeah, you, you see I'm him. just gonna, like, my eyes lock with that sprite. You see him kind of look, look back, still arrow knocking, kind of looks confused, and he's like... Gives a nod. Just kind of looks disdainfully at Tala. Uh, guess and guess who's better? Kind of looks, looks at his daughter and just shakes his head Ooh. and ducks back inside of the tree. Ooh. A bitch. Bitch! Jin! in that moment flies to him, just flies to his side, and as she sees how wounded he is, just kind of goes over and un- underneath just kind of catches him as he kind of collapses and they both kind of fall to their knees at the same time as she just wraps her arms around him, just presses her cheek against his, and you can actually see in this moment her hand start to glow and she, okay, she cures okay. him. As he kind of looks, he's you can hear it as his shoulders can pull back into place because of the healing spell, or through the healing spell. And he still looks really rough, but he's he's alive. Against all odds. So I want to know how many hit points, just like Sophia wants to know how many hit points that dude had. The guy actually has 60 hit points. 60?! This is a hefty, this is a hefty, hefty sprite. Hefty. How many does he have left right now? He had 11. <sighs> One more hit from that great sword and he would have been gone. But he did it! I'm so happy! And we have a new friend now. Yeah! 
you, you see her just kind of like brushing, brushing at the blood kind of like from his face. It's smearing. It's getting all over her as she's just kind of pressing it. She's like, I knew you could. I knew you could. And she kisses him again. He kind of winces in a moment, but just kind of leans into her and presses his forehead against hers. I'm just kind of. It's about time something's not right. All this bad luck up to now has led to this. Oh, you be saving up all of his good luck for this. Mm. We got eaten to save his luck for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. That that um yeah yeah that was a death. Yeah. I've saved a lot twice now. Mm -hmm. Sophia and Calvin have. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> won't forget it anytime soon. Kind of takes several breaths and he kind of looks up at you guys and he's like, well, you voluntarily gained us another companion. <laughs> There's always strength in numbers. I just look so pleased with myself right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> and she's like, don't you worry about a thing. And she kind of, kind of brushes her nose against his. Oh God, I'm going to be sick she's like, all this love sickness, but it's okay. Oh, in, a, in, in that moment, she's like, you know, like you could go ahead and, you know. At that point, she kind of slips her finger, like, onto the ring. And she's like, I could just break the chain here and you know, just have this be a thing. And he goes, I'm going to do things properly. And he Pro pulls, pulls her hand away from the ring. He's like, this, this means something different. And kind of looks at her again. I certainly hope they are all right with this uh, arcane gate. And bringing us back. Where, where are we going exactly? Bomberg. Kind of looks and like I I need a minute. Um, <clears throat> stands roughly and she kind of helps him up. You can see like it, it's not not in a here. Let me help. Let me do this for you. But as a as an assistant as. If you need me, I'm here. Kind of way. Does he need more hit points? Um, I think he needs a lot he, more. He needs a nap. <laughs> He's he just yeah. had the ever living daylights. You know, might have lost a companion, and their friends. I know. Uh, is how many is he up now? Did she like give him a she, little bit? He he looks a little bit better, but I mean, he still his armor is still kind of soaked in blood. I'm and, gonna wait till no one's watching. Uh, okay. And you hear, and you see Tarragon. Yes, he can join too. And, and standing on one of the nearby limbs, kind of standing over you guys, he's like, "I knew you could." And he's like, Phew. It's like if I could fly, I would most certainly try to take your head. And he actually takes takes an arrow and half-heartedly shoots it in his direction. Is that a curiosity? Yeah, it misses horribly. He just half-heartedly takes and fires. He just watches it go by. And then Tarragon does. And he's like, <laughs> flutters down. It's like, I knew you had nothing to worry about and that you would regret it. He's like, and uh, I happen to have a few connections. He kind of gives a nod to Jen. And he looks back and he's like, you take care of her now. She is your charge. He kind of nods. Like, I'll do what I can. He looks to all of you. He's like, I hope that all of you will continue to keep an eye out for this one. He keeps getting himself into trouble. He gives him a stern look. He's like, don't you make her worry about you. He's like, turns out I'm actually the one who's going to be creating the gate for you. Are you ready now? We don't have any other stuff. We gotta go get it. I'll accompany you back to your camp. Okay. He flutters up. Let's go. Zoom. I'll take Zoom. Zoom kind of looks in that moment. He kind of like re reaches out. Okay. And, uh, until kind of like pulls her over and she kind of, all of a sudden she's like, oh wow, I didn't realize that. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> it's kind of like going over her face kind of at this point where she's recognizing there's going to be some changes around here. Mm -hmm. She's like, I do have to grab a few of my things as well. And he nods and she flutters up to the door. Checks inside first, sees nothing, and grabs up what looks like a, a pack, kind of like a, a, um, a little sack off to the side, and she flutters back down. 
lands next to Untalel, walks on with him, Zub takes them both, and you all head back to your camp. Yes! Have you spelled Jin? G E N. Yeah. Zoom, at that point, she actually realizes, like, I didn't actually introduce myself, did I? And Zoom kind of shakes his head. See, like, does he not say much? And he's like, I'll, I'll explain everything. He kind of wraps his arm kind of around her and says, so, I have so many things to talk to you about. And, and she, you can talk together forever because she won. And she flutters over as you all, when you all make it back to camp and you're gathering your stuff. She's like, let me properly introduce myself. It's like, uh, ginseng combine. Alright, spell that. G-E-N-S-I-N-G. S-I-N-G. Columbine. C-O-L-U-M-B-I-N-E. Columbine. Okay. And she, you know, a brave face. And sticks out her hand. Slowly. Mm -hmm. I'm and she, shallow vision. He goes and shakes all of your own hands, and she looks over and says, Is that your horse? I kind of grin a little bit. She immediately, and he's like, Reckless. And, just kind of, and he just has this, like, this fond look on his face that he just hasn't seen her in such a long time, and just seeing the life that she brings, he's just... He's like a different person. He's like odd. the straight one in the relationship, and she's the one that's like. <laughs> she goes over and immediately one. is just rubbing on the on like right in between Warrior's eyes, and he's like you are so handsome. And he's like scratching. Scratching. Oh, he is such a diva. I'm like that's not at all <laughs> the case. Mm -hmm. Dear. <laughs> flutters back over. She's like, I don't actually know where just uh, we're going and what exactly are you all doing? And, like, looks to Talel. He's like, I know there have been attacks. I know there have been other things, but uh, is this your all's course of action? And Talel kind of pulls her over. Says, well, we'll let them decide. Right. Oof. He's like, in the meantime, like. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to go to Bomberg. And Bomberg. Bomberg. Bomberg again. Because the last time we saw more of this group, they were there. Oh, right, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And we're going to be searching for the rest of them, and hopefully we'll find out what yes. Yes. is going on and why. That's nasty Bomberg. Although it's nicer than the swamps. Yeah. But a they don't have bit. any horses. It's a little bit drier. A little bit. If Jacob and Mario there were stealing their horses, <laughs> it just come to that. They're probably not there. I hate myself. <laughs> you did it. Uh, yes, we're going back to Bobber. You all gather up your things. Um, until he tidies himself up for you know a couple of minutes, he actually kind of excuses himself and <laughs> takes off the bloody armor, kind of pries it off of himself, and, and tries to at least make sure that the wounds are clean. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna like, else. gonna well, he's probably in something. And he's like, can I give you some healing points? Healing points? What what does that mean? Can I cure some of your wounds? Um, um, if it's no bother, I mean, it's, we're, we're going to be traveling such, but... I'm going to, like, follow her over and be like, can I do this thing? Both of you we kind of, like, throw it your We're just like, we're so proud of you, you did such a good job! He, he's kind of stunned by your all <laughs> sudden, like, extreme interest in... Like, we're so <laughs> cool! This relative relationship, like... Oh, I give up. Do I just? I give him touches. four healing points because we leveled up. <gasps> we have four. We have four now. We give him eight total. Here you go, Tom. He. I give him four too. The wounds you can almost see, even though your <laughs> your hands are like eagerly pressed against the door. You can see, <laughs> just like the bruises start fading instantly. Um, he is almost back completely. Okay, good. Right back to health. That's nice. As he. Oh, that was. I'm gonna roll his shoulders and like. I need to learn how to do that. It's quite convenient. Yes, yes. 
Mm -hmm. We decided to go back to Bomber to try to track down. Right. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. uh, are um, Newt and Briar around? <laughs> they they are nearby. <laughs> These are still bandaged as they they've watched all of this happen. And Tarragon has actually explained the whole situation. Both of them are. Got her. <laughs> Perspective. I mean, like, tell her, like, I mean, not that you all are interested in that way, but like, he's not like unattractive. Like, he doesn't have. He just like, probably wasn't. He's high society. They look at him and they look at her, and he's like, both of them, like, oh, that's not like fair. John. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of like walk over and be like, any way I could um, get some more of those apples for travel? Oh, oh yes, um, we. Actually, um, there was a small task force set out, um, they point to a couple of what you didn't see before, um, a couple of bundles of supplies. Thank you. I'm going to nod and say, don't, don't make anyone, don't make them fly again like that. Don't make, don't make her fly for so, so long. Oh, there's <laughs> always a seat still... right here. No! And Tarragon just kind of looks and he's like, You've certainly broken them. Steps out well, and he's and, like, and we were promised information or some kind for defending, but they haven't said anything yet. No, we were technically, technically we said that we were going to go find these people. Okay. Oh no, Tilla's freedom was your payment. Well, like, that, yeah, it was my right. payment, but I don't right. know if that meant yours too, technically. It's okay. I'm not going to say anything about it. It's not really a, a thing. Point of contention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. And Tarragon does remember and he says, you know, you, you did acquire your friend's freedom. And so is there anything you require? Mm. Well, I said that I wanted knowledge, but I don't know if I could learn anything fast enough as we're leaving right now. So... You could save it. Perhaps uh, pull a favor in the future. All the council members love that. Yes. I will count. You can tell them I count it as a favor then. Oh, they'll be delighted and I cannot wait to deliver the information. A favor. No. Oh. <laughs> I died. Eight points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After it's a while, everybody gathers together and he's like, you, you said you wanted to go to Bomberg. Yes. yes. I can get you pretty close. Uh, I've been near several areas like that before. Um, this is uh, called transport via plants, and he touches the tree, and he's like, You're going to have to move fast. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. I have I have warrior, I'm like holding onto his mane so he falls behind okay. me. Let's see. It's nice meeting you. It was nice meeting all of you. I look Perhaps our uh, flat paths will cross again in the future, but hopefully not too soon, and hopefully under the right circumstances. Agreed. Well, keep us in mind if you ever need anything. Nods, and as he presses his hand into the tree, you watch as it <laughs> breaks from the inside and <sighs> peels open. <laughs> you have to sprint through. Go, go! I have, I have to and you <laughs> We run. Uh, zoom, we zoom. Leave okay, Zoom has him. I didn't know if he still yeah. had him or not. Yeah, Zoom went over and... Okay. Um, I took all the supplies. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all had gathered everything together and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! go through and and you see the portal <laughs> grow back together. Now I'll take a moment. <sighs> Exhale. Process all of the information. Process everything that happened. And you look around. Left, right. And you see there is a path ahead. It's a very familiar path. One that you've taken not but a week ago. Only a week? Two. Not but a week? It's been, it's been just a week. It's been like literally six days. Like that's it. Well we did. Uh, okay. There's technically four, this would be the seventh days, day. Two days. Well this is the eighth day, technically. Yeah. Okay. So you all travel back on the eighth day, kind of around, um, it's probably around two o'clock or so by the okay. time you all went, scouted out, went back and got this information <laughs> and watched a near battle to the death. Yes. Wow. Let's go!